Welcome to episode 22 of the Ultimate Golf Road Trip. Today we're on a beautiful piece of property in the Virginia mountains at Primlin Resort. And as you can see behind me, there's some ridiculously awesome views here. And the golf course? Well, it's pretty good too. Let's go ahead, see what the round was all about. As you reach the main gates, contain your enthusiasm. Your journey's just begun. Prepare to traverse a small mountain, which, along with a fun drive, provides some incredible mountain views. When you finally reach the summit, Primlin awaits. After checking into the ultra cool clubhouse and lodge, make your way to the driving range where the views sure won't disappoint. Then roll some putts on the expansive putting green before heading out for the main event. Head pro Brian joined us on the Highland course where Primlin wastes no time in pressing, offering up jaw dropping views as you make the descent to the first green. It's a postcard worthy scene that's definitely worth snapping a quick photo in front of. While I think the first probably offers the most dramatic view, you'll be wowed by some other incredible scenes throughout the course too. Behind the green on 13 and the back tee box on 16 are two of my other favorites that are well worth a look. So what else can you expect from the golf? First and foremost, fairways are key here as most holes are lined heavily by trees. Many holes are tight, but some do give you a decent sized fairway to work with. There's also rarely a shot where you're not hitting up or downhill. Elevation changes, as you might expect, are ever present throughout this entire golf course. One of the more extreme examples is the 220 yard par 3 8th that plays straight downhill to a large green. And speaking of large greens, most holes at Primlin feature huge surfaces. The most extreme example being the par 5 13th with a green that runs 60 yards from front to back. I found that subtle breaks could be found in the heart of most greens, while the perimeters were lined with humps, bumps, and swales. This means shots towards the edges are likely to careen off into collection areas which can lead to some pretty tough up and downs. Middle of the green is definitely never a bad play here. Okay, so a few favorite holes. Aside from the first hole, which I've raved about enough already, I really enjoyed the 494 yard par 4 7th, which demands two great shots and offers views of Winston-Salem skyline 70 miles away on a clear day. The 10th hole positioned directly behind the lodge is a great challenging opener to the back while the final hole offers a few more scenic views, demands one more accurate tee shot, and finishes with a great backdrop. Though we stuck to golf during our quick day trip, Primlin offers a host of activities to guests, meaning a full weekend here is ideal. And while there are rooms in the lodge and plenty of cabin options too, I'd recommend snagging one of the tree houses behind number four green which provides a studio style room with quite the view. It just doesn't get any better than that. And as we sat on the back patio enjoying a post-round lunch, we couldn't help but think, man, we can't wait to come back. 